Warning, to ensure that she can record her initial reactions as realistically as possible, please do not spoil anything related to the game's storyline in the comments section. Also, if you don't want to get spoiled with my Pokemon Sun gameplay, this is your chance to press the back button now. Thanks for your understanding and hope you enjoy this video. Hey there, it's Fiery Ruby here with, yes, the beginning of her Pokemon Sun walkthrough. I can't wait. Game's finally here and my adventure is about to get started. Hype now, hurry up and load. Alright. Alright, it's time to play this game in English. Settings have been saved. Okay. Oh, video message. We have a video message from the Alboa region's own Professor Kukri. Now this is an interesting start. Hang on now, give me a sec. You're adjusting, just like me, a few seconds ago. Hey there, good afternoon. Afternoon? Sure, yeah, it's nighttime here when during the recording. So the day has finally come that you're moving to Aloha. Aloha is a region made up of several islands. That could be the reason the region is chock full of nothing but rare Pokemon, yeah. Such mysterious creatures. <gasps> oh, you're so cute! Rock rock! You find them all over, in the grass, in the caves, in the sky, and sea. Here in Alola, we love our Pokemon. And we depend on them heaps too. Some of us even battle with them if we call ourselves Pokemon trainers. Rock Rock, can you wait until I'm done talking to play? Alright, I'm gonna ask you some questions about yourself so I can introduce you to everybody. So, which photo should I use for your trainer passport? Alright. There are eight selections here, and I'm probably going to use this one. Yeah. I'll let you spell out your name for me, and my gameplay name for this walkthrough is going to be... Ruby. Yeah. And for a good buddy, I'll uh, let everybody out here know you're on your way. Ruby. Ooh, Picky Tag. Rock Rock! Yeah, that's a name that hits you like a thunderbolt out of the sky. Woo. Nice. I can't wait to see you in person then, cousin. Cousin? We're cousins? Since when? Alright then. See ya. Ruby, come help me with these boxes. Alright, I'm coming, Mom. Looks like we're gonna travel to the Alolan region. Now, this is an interesting start. Oh, wait, what's going on here? This girl's running. Looks like she's running away from something. She took a Pokemon? Or she's hiding it away? Oh. An organization. They're after her. Oh, this is a nice approach. It's different compared to the other Pokemon games. Oh man, she's surrounded. Oh boy. What can she do? Oh, what's the Pokemon doing? Wow. That teleport or something? I don't know. 
nice intro. It's a nice intro to this. Three months late. What? Already? Okay. So quiet. Loving this map. Oh, the region. I can't wait to explore. Alright. What's going on here? There's a kid. Oh, Rockruff! Looks like... Oh, so we did move in. Ah, can't you just feel the warmth? The first day spent under a low last sun. Yeah, that's nice, but I'm questioning right now. How is a Meowth like that? Very short. I didn't expect Meowth to be that small. It's so warm and bright here. But that's enough of that. Time to unpack all these boxes. Meowth, go get Ruby for me, would you? Meow? Hmm. I would definitely prefer to be waken up by a bird. Not really a cat, but then again, I'm not really much of a cat person. Meow! Ooh, a Pikachu doll. And a Wii U. And a sleepy head, a sleepy head over here. Who sleeps with their shoes on? But anyway. Meow! Am I supposed to move? Oh, I moved. Okay. I was supposed to move. Darn, that meal is really short. Small. Okay, what's this? I checked my book that Dad gave me. Okay. Got those straightened out. Game pad. Do I need to change my clothes or something? And a diddle pillow <laughs> with me out claw marks. Oh, there are moving boxes full of your belongings. Okay, looks like I need to go downstairs. Oh wow, the redesigning of this room looks awesome. Uh, hi, mom. You what? Out like light, weren't you? You ought to be full of energy by now. So, Ruby, are you pumped to meet some Alolan Pokemon? Yes, I am. That's right, I want to hurry and meet some too. We're living in the Alolan region now. The beautiful islands everyone wants to visit. I'm sure the Pokemon living in a place like this must be friendly, right? Yep, I think so. I need to adjust my camera again. Was that the doorbell? That's got to be Professor Kukui. Why don't you let him in? Alright, time to let him in. Open sesame. That's my room. Oops. So that's my room. You find Kukui's place. Which he let himself in. Alright. Hey there, Ruby. My name's Kukui. Good to meet you, cousin. We're cousins after all. Alright. You gotta be tired from all that long trip all the way here to Lolo. How are you feeling, any Jet lag? Oh, jet lag. I never felt like jet lag before because I had to go on the plane, but... Anyways, continuing on with the story. We sure are a long way from Kanto out here in Alola. It's still daylight out here, yeah. Professor Kukui, we just arrived yesterday. Oh, hey there, Mom. I just let myself in. Oh, and call me Kukui, would you? Welcome to Alola. Of course I will. I still remember seeing you battle the Indigo Gym Leaders back in Kanto all those years ago, you know. I've been in love with the Loma and Pokemon ever since, so I finally decided to come here myself. 
<laughs> I was supposed to be I was supposed to be visiting here to research Kanto Pokemon moves at all. I thought I knew a thing or two about battling, but Kanto Gym leaders proved me wrong. Hey now, Ruby. Let's get a move to the next town over, cousin. Time to meet the island Kahuna. And get yourself a Pokemon, yeah. A uh, Pokemon? Yeah, sure. The Kahuna who lives in Iki Town is always happy to give you a kid who wants to have an adventure there. First Pokemon, yeah. But don't try taking on a Kahuna yourself. Kahunas are crazy strong Pokemon trainers. They're unbeatable for folks like me and you. Are you sure about that? They'll simply give my girl Pokemon? Then those Kahunas must be worth meeting. I'm sure they are. Alright, and get ready, Ruby. Your bag and hat and things are still in the boxes and in your room, I think. And if you... And didn't you leave a copy of your adventure rules on your desk in there, too? Ooh, I bet you got a tough styling hat. That'll match mine, yeah? Yeah. I'm pretty sure. There's a wearable apparel, there's a TV, there's more boxes here. That's outside, I'm guessing? There's a fridge. Nice little bit of plant here. Sparkling clean kitchen sink. Nice. Alright. Time to run and head back to my room. Time to get that box. Alright. I'm all dressed up and ready to go. Nice. Looking fresh. Alright then. You look ready for anything now. Have a good time out there. I'll be sure to have everything cleaned up and put away by the time you come back with your new Pokemon. Woo, that's a styling hat, cousin. Meow. Your mom there. She's sure looking forward to getting your first Pokemon, yeah? So let's get going to Iki Town. Time for you to get a real nice Pokemon from the island Kahuna. Oh yeah! Alright, time to follow the leader. Time to see what the Alolan region has for me. Such nice music. Okay. Uh, there's a garage. Oh my, look at the details of this. No, this is more like it, yeah? Welcome to Paradise, cousin. This is the Alola region. Folks here in the Alola region get along by living together with Pokemon and working together too. After all, you can go anywhere, yeah, as long as you got Pokemon helping you out there. That's why we gotta get you to the Kuna. First off, to Iki Town. Come on, it's not far if we cut up here. Alright. This is an interesting introduction. Hi, kid! Hey, you, you look like you're having a good time around strolling around Alola. You make me want to dash around too. I bet I could go even faster than you. Holding B will make me be dasher. And it makes me look pretty dashing too. <laughs> Lol. That's a good joke. Or a pun, should I say. Oh, the rock rub is so cute. Root one. Nice. I'll meet this guy. Power of science is amazing. A simple press of a button, you can trade Pokemon or battle Pokemon around with Pokemon around you. Interesting. Do, do, do. Just keep walking. So Ruby, you loving Alola already? Yep. That's what I like to hear. The more you love Alola, the happier you'll be. I'll be. Oh yeah, look there. It looks like an excited Alolan trainer is coming to us. Professor Kukui, you gotta recommend another move for me sometime, please. 
Why, you already know which moves you want to use, yeah? You come find me next time your Pokemon learns a new move and I'll battle you. Aw, he's a nice guy. Pikachu! I see a Pikachu! See that? If you had a Pokemon with you, you could dive into this tall grass here. Yeah, to try to catch some wild Pokemon to add to your team. When trainers go up against one another in battle, the like Pokemon they love. Come on, young you go. How's it? You're the new kid that just flew in? Let's have a Pokemon battle sometime. Having Pokemon gives you a, a whole new way of communication with other people, see? Now let's get moving. Iggy Town is right over there. It's a nice stroll. A nice introduction to see how things go. It's a nice start. And I arrived in town now. Iggy Town. And we're here. This is right here. Iggy Town. Hmm. This is the town where folks come to worship the Pokemon that watches over what Mele Mele Island. Okay. Tapu Koko keeps us all safe and happy, see? Huh, what's going on here? We were supposed to meet everybody right here, yeah. Hmm. Maybe they're all back there on Mahalo Trail. That's where the ruins of our guardian deity, Tapu Koko, are, yeah. Ruby, do me a solid and go find the island at Kahuna. I'll wait around here and make sure we don't miss each other. The island Kahuna? You can't miss him, he looks just like a Kahuna. What? How am I supposed to find him when I never met him? I just flew in. Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to find him. Let's find it in this place. Hi there, can you help me? My rock ruff is the best bodyguard ever. She always comes to me when I go shopping and she lies outside the door when I sleep. Oh, that's cute. It's well Pokemon when we go ahead her and now she's part of the family. When I see her around housing roughhousing with my little girl, I can't help but smile. Yeah, Rock Ruff is so cute. Who can say no to that? Help me find Kahuna. Do you know? Just having Pokemon at your side makes you feel all warm inside. Eating dinner together, playing together, enjoying spending time together. Pure happiness. That's right. Is he in here? Hi. Opening a window lets night come creeping in. If you leave one open, it makes you sleepy. Alright. Both Pokemon and people grow sleepy after eating a lot. That's fine to sleep deeply and wake up to a glorious morning. Interesting. In other words, Pokemon act like they're trainers over time. Little brother is always coming home covered in mud, just like his Pokemon. Two of them are alike. Then he and I are. <laughs> Trainer and Pokemon think alike. Alright. Can't find him. He's not here. Maybe up there. Hi. Enter. Hi there. Said the ancient peoples rode over the waves and seas together with their Pokemon to settle the Alola region. Different people interact with Pokemon in their own different ways. Some may see them as allies in battle, while others just enjoy sharing their lives with them. Aw, that's nice. Okay. Let's move. Huh? What's going on here? Oh, it's that girl. Really, you want to go up to the ruins? I don't know what you hope to find there. Hmm. What is going on over there? The Kahuna Hala is the strongest Pokemon trainer of all 
Nearly, nearly. I guess he must be off helping someone to train right now. I don't see him anywhere. So he's not here. Maybe up there. The Mahalo Trail. Okay. I wonder what's going on here. Oh, the only oxen free. I'm just starting to feel like a, like some sort of rite of passage to some degree. You can't come out. We'll get in trouble if anyone sees you. Hmm. Wonder what she's up to. Trying to follow her. She's at the bridge. The Pokemon's trying to drag her out. Oh, was it a Cosmog, if I remember correctly? Cosmog! Oh no! Zero! Oh no! Don't bully her! It! He! I don't know its gender. Why are you standing there? Wrong. Uh, help! Save Nebby! Nebby? The Cosmog? Oh, she's crying! It's crying. The spear are attacking it, but, but I'm too afraid to go out there. My legs feel like they might give out. Oh. But I don't have a Pokemon. I'm just gonna run. Oh boy, we're just shaking. I'm trying to get closer. Boy, leave them alone. Leave it alone. Ouch! Yeah. Oh what? I fall with the cosmog. Oh, Tapu Coco. Thanks, Tapu Koko. I got saved. And there it goes. Oh, now that's an interesting concept. That never happened before. Phew! Oh, oh thank goodness. You tried using your power again, didn't you? Oh, Nebby. You know what happened last time you used it? You couldn't move for ages after that. I don't want you... I don't want to see you like that again. No, I shouldn't say that. I'm sorry, Nippy. I know you were trying to save me at the time. But I couldn't even help you in return. Pew! Oh. Wrong. Uh, what, what is that? What you got there? Pew, pew! A sparkling stone? It feels almost warm somehow. Please forgive me. I am so grateful to you for helping us out, out of that dangerous spot. Who are you? I think this stone must belong to- I asked who you are, and you give, give me the stone. A sparkling stone. Alright. Please, don't tell- anyone about this, about seeing Nebby. It, it's a secret, okay? Come on, into the bag, Nebby. Hmm. Well, your name? Um, I'm worried we might get attacked again by some wild Pokemon or, or something. I know it's too much for me to ask, but do you think you could see us back in town? Back to town? Okay, you want me to lead you back to town? Alright, looks like I don't have a choice. We're not going anywhere. Uh, 
but I don't even have my own Pokemon to protect you with. Hey Ruby, looks like you missed the Kuna, yeah? But you found my assistant, oh yeah. Oh, your assistant, okay. Looks like you already met, but just in case, this is my assistant. Assistant. Uh, uh, yes, you could call me Lily. And Lily, this here is Ruby. She just moved here to Alola. Take good care of her. Uh, how about the other way around, because I just saved her. So, you're also one of the professor's acquaintances. It's nice to meet you. Yeah, indeed. The Kahuna is back. Kahuna Hala has returned. Our guardian's chosen one is back. Only one of the strongest Pokemon users in all Alola. Yeah. There he is. Yep, definitely looks like a Kahuna. He stands out. Have I missed something? Nah. But where'd you go off to, Kahuna? I thought we were meeting here. I am Kuna of this island, after all. Whenever there is a problem on the island, it is my duty to resolve it. Sorry, lady. What were you saying before? For some reason, I thought I saw a type of cocoa flying about. Um, yeah. Kahuna Hala. Maybe it was being attacked by a Spiro. Or, should I say, it's Black of Spiro. On the plank bridge when this girl helped it get away. But the bridge collapsed and I thought both of them might fall to the bottom of the ravine and that was when the island's garden deity swooped down to save them. Ooh, that's something you don't hear every day. Oh, a little said to protect us, our Tapu Koko is rather f a rather fickle creature. Yet our guardian was moved to save you. Kukui, my boy, I think we have cause. We have cause to celebrate. Seems I should entrust this brave and kind young girl with a Pokemon of her own. We'll make her a fine trainer out of her. Glad to meet you, child. I'm Hala, the Kahuna of Mili, Mili Island. Welcome to Alola. Young Kukui has told me of your coming. I'm glad we got the chance to meet today. Come, my Pokemon. Let's have a look at you. <laughs> oh no. Here it starts. Which one shall be my partner? The first is the grass-type Pokemon Valor. Cool! Oh, so cute! Next is the fire-type Pokemon Litten. Oh, she's cute too. And the last is the water-type Pokemon. Poplio. What? Interesting. Oh man. Which one to choose? Which Pokemon will you choose as your partner? Oh, fudgeels. I didn't get a chance to look at my trainer ID. I gotta pick one. Uh, process of elimination. Oh man. Which one should I choose? Oh, fudge. Uh, da, 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 da. Which one? Can't, can't decide. Uh, let's see. Which one should I pick? Okay, roulette time. I'm gonna, just gonna... Okay, with my eyes closed and my fingers on the down button, I'm going to pick my Pokemon. So I have no idea which one shall be it's my starter, but forever hold your peace. Alright. Alright. My starter shall be Litten, the fire type Pokemon. Oh 
only when you have both chosen each other, you can only truly call each other partners. All right. Come to me, Litton. We're in a standoff. So let us see if little Litton here also decides to choose you. What am I supposed to do? Call it? Litton is staring at me with some curiosity. Okay. Oh, it comes. Oh, and now that's a cute scene. I lifted Litten gently in my arms. Rawr! Oh, it's sniffling. It's sniffing at me. Looks like little Litten has accepted you as well, Ruby. Having accepted one another, you'll surely be friends for life. A nickname. For this walkthrough, I'm not going to give a nickname. So that you figure out all the names. And usually my first experience, I usually don't give nicknames until afterwards. Alright, Litton has joined my party. Nice to meet you, Litton. Oh, when did you get out again? I know that Kahuna Hala and the professor will keep you safe from any harm, but you shall stay in the bag and out of sight. It'll be safer that way. You should still stay in the bag and out of sight. It's safer that way. I think you chose a wonderful Pokemon. Please take very good care of it. That's it, Ruby. Now that you got a Pokemon, you're a real Pokemon trainer, yeah. Yeah, here's a lovely gift from me, so it could help make it special, cousin. What did I get? A Pokédex. Nice! A Pokédex is a real high-tech kind of tool, yeah, that can automatically record facts about any Pokemon you meet. Your new Pokemon is already registered. Oh yeah, so check it out. Pages? Oh, passport. Now why don't you introduce your new friend to your mom, Ruby? 